<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here. We are back with another rap battle. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, and what better way to dip into our depravity than to dip into some Joker rap battles? So... I mean, if they can't tell from my, like, axe murderer, Alice. Yes. Yeah. Half of my soul is guiding. From her? Behind the string. Sorry. Uh, I got my eye on you. Anyways. Hmm. Um, I got my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone will hear you sing on YouTube, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> But no, so <laughs> great. This is this is a Joker rap battle. This is now. I read in the description it says we got together the five best Jokers, but I only seen pictures of four Jokers. And there's only four names listed. You've got Nerd Out, Dan Bull, Dreaded Yasuke, and video game rap battles. Okay. Um, so I don't know if there's like a fifth hidden one, but the four that they showed were Jack Nicholson's Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker, Jacqueline. Phoenix's Joker. Joaquin. Joaquin, sure. And, um, <laughs> look, he needs to spell his name W-A-K-E-E-M or some shit like that if he wants to pronounce it correctly. Joaquin. Sure. Yeah. Um, and then the animated Joker. That was four. I okay. I held on to a fifth thing earlier. Uh, but they say there's a fifth. I have a feeling... I don't know. I, I wouldn't know whose it is because a lot of people kind of shit on Jared Leto's Joker, even though right. I liked Jared Leto's Joker, right? For what it was. Um. But if there is a fifth, he's the only other Joker, unless they're making us think that he might be the one. But they're going to use Cesar Romero's Joker instead, which is from the original Adam West Batman series. Oh, okay. All right. Um. But regardless, these are all the Jokers battle rapping with each other. Now, with that being said, this is Nerd Out. I'm expecting something very good here, and this is actually going to be something I know more about going into it than the last one I did, which was Avatar. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Now, we've heard Dreaded Yasuke on a couple other rap battle things. I've heard Dan Bull. Um, we've heard Dan Bull on other things, not rap battle. Well, he's been on epic rap battles a couple times. Okay. Um, he played uh, Jack the Ripper. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, and then somebody else. I don't remember what the other one is that he did for them. And then video game rap battles I've covered specifically, one or two of theirs. Mm -hmm. And then, again, I don't know who from Nerd Out's going to be. Obviously, if it's Nim Raps, we know Nim Raps. Right. Um, but, again, if it's supposed to be five, it could be two of the people from Nerd Out. Um, who knows? We shall see. We shall see. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen... This is The Joker Rap Battle by Nerd Out featuring Dan Bull, Video Game Rap Battles, and Dreaded Yasuke. Or Yasuke. I don't know how they fucking Yasuki. pronounce it. That's Japanese, so definitely be Yasuke. If it was... I don't know. Anyways, so without further ado, we're going to slash it up, break down. Ladies and gentlemen, are y'all ready? We're ready. Let's go, baby. Obviously, they used the scene there from Dark Knight. There's the animated Joker. Oh, they are going to use... Jared Leto? Jared Leto's Joker. Stop it. Nim Raps. Nim Raps. So Ben Shuler, the other guy. Okay. It's saying if you ham it out with Hamaloid Bay, I say then I'm gripping on the handle. Hand it out with Hamel? Hamel. Mark Hamel. Mm -hmm. Voices of the animated series Joker. Mm -hmm. My favorite iteration of Joker, personally. Okay. It's saying if you ham it out with Hamaloid Bay, I say then I'm gripping on the handle and bang. Your brain gets a flag and grain straight from the sickest voice. Check the Arkham games. Y'all are fake a Ooh. bunch of that. Yeah, I forgot Mark Hamill does voice Joker on the Arkham games as well. Okay. Um... So the Arkham video games, they did uh, Arkham Asylum, mm -hmm. and then they did Arkham City, and then Arkham Knight, or something like that. I've seen Asylum played. Um, 
but not the other two. But yes, he voices Joker in those as well. Okay. As a matter of fact, most of the original animated series voice cast came back for those games. Okay. Which is really cool. That's neat. I can grind straight from the sickest voice. Check the Arkham games. Y'all are fake a bunch of actors that were made up for a role. You all break what the Joker is really down in the soul. The Joker is immortal. You are man. The mess is simple. You can always kill a man, but you cannot kill a symbol. That's where I... Ooh, I like that. Because since it's animated... Right. It's He's going to immortal. live on. Whereas actual people aren't going to be able to right. carry on that role of the Joker. <laughs> okay. All right. Mortal, you a man, the mess is simple. You can always kill a man, but you cannot kill a symbol. That's where I come in. This cartoon is the icon that can die within. Despite the rhymes you spit, and all the time can take. I'll be surviving it. Hell, in 2030, not surprised this guy still lives. So try and test the Joker, and the writers get an gnarly. You'll be alone behind me while I'm revving up my Harley. I needed a. <laughs> is he riding his Harley? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. <laughs> that, that was a good bar. Revving up my Harley. Talking about Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the writers get in gnarly. You'll be alone behind me while I'm revving up my Harley. I needed a good laugh. I guess you're not a bother. I'm the standard for the joker, so I guess I am your father. Ooh. Call me daddy. <laughs> okay. So, I actually think he did an okay job. I would have liked to have seen him attack them more personally right per role uh, but understand with five people right but it, it was kind of a blanket because i'm the original right he is the original therefore... that all these other jokers were kind of modeled after in one way or another uh, right um well and considering he's animated he'll stay looking the same and therefore won't be broken down into all of these parts right. played by men which is part of what he was saying is that the you break him down in the soul. Something like that further back. Right. So he's doing a good job so far. Um, at least he attacked the others. It wasn't just an intro like a lot of the fantasy right. battles have. Because, yeah. So it looks like the Dark Knight Joker is up next, which is a little weird. I figured they would actually kind of go with in an order. order. So I figured we were going to get um, Jack Nicholson's Joker next. But we'll see. We'll see. Take a look inside the genius on my stick. Others need to be lobotomized. Act like my magistrate. Modernize them. <laughs> so in the Dark Knight, for those of you that don't know, there's a part where Joker says, let me show you a magic trick. And he stabs a pencil into the table. And as the dude walks up, he slams the dude's face onto the pencil. And the pencil lodges itself in the guy's head. You don't actually see that part of it because it is a PG-13 movie. No lobotomy. But when the guy falls, the pencil's gone. He's like, it disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is the magic trick. So it's lobotomy. It, it... Yep. Bar. Using lines from the movie. This is my favorite Batman movie, though. I, yeah. Face and show me who you really are. See the coward in yourself before I leave up to the stars. But I'm not a monster, I'm just far ahead of the curve. Gonna get swerved with the dark night relationship superb. Got the really deserve a classic girl when I'm looking for work. No way, any material things aside, they need to be hurt. Put him in place, do it with grace. From a guy with a simple taste, a couple of barrels of night drapes. When may Harvey lose faith in the human race? Ooh. So a couple barrels of nitrate. So there's a part where Joker has both. Harvey Dent in one location, and then Batman's love interest oh, in another, who's also Batman. dating Harvey. Right. Weird love triangle thing going on here. Um, Batman's busy. Batman is busy. Yeah. Uh, but he gives him two addresses. Mm -hmm. and tells him he doesn't know which one's at which. Um, Batman ends up going to the one with Harvey. The Dent. one with Harvey. And the cops end up going to the one with the love interest, which I cannot remember her name to save my soul right now. Whatever fucking reason. 
Yeah. Um, um, but he ends up saving Har- Har- Harvey. Link. Batman does, um, which half of Harvey's face ends up getting mellow off, which is why he becomes Two Face. Mm-hmm. Um, but Chicky Poo dies. Chicky Poo dies because they don't get to her in time. What is her freaking name? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> That's but terrible. Regardless, with that being said, um, it, it, it was the start of the downfall of Two Face's sanity. Because he was very much in love with her as well. And they, right. he wanted them to save her. Yes. And then missing half his face, his political aspirations kind of right. tanked. And then he feels like he needs to hurt bad people? Uh, or kill them all. But kill- he, he has that split conscience, which is right. why he always flips the coin. Which and leaves it to fate instead of... Well, originally, the flipping the coin, leaving it to fate, was all a lie. Because the coin was double-sided. Right. It was a double-sided head. He always knew the outcome, what it was going to be, but the people he did it to didn't. Right. Um, Cruel joke. But during all the shit that happened with Harvey, um, one of the sides became very scratched. So it kind of became the tails. Right. And he would flip the coin depending on what the coin landed on, depending on if he killed the person involved or not. Because um, my favorite part of that whole situation was when he was in the back seat of the car and he flipped the coin and... It landed for the dude sitting next to him to live. He's like, that's cool, but what about the person driving? And then he flips it, and it turns out that he's going to kill the dude driving. So he kills the dude driving, which in turn ends up killing the dude in the passenger seat. So, fun times. Mm. Also, why so serious? Why so serious? Get a smile on that face. More lines from I love that they used the the picture, the, the part of the movie where he's wearing the nurse's outfit. Yes. He is one classy broad. Yes. Race from a guy with a simple taste, a couple of barrels of night drapes. When may Harvey lose faith in the human race? Why so serious? My hilarious occupation got various weightings to cast some curious situations. Tragedy, you're a hand out just like the good and dash and madness is like gravity. All it takes is a little taste. Ha ha ha! Oh, that was good. He did a really good job. I actually have to say, I think he's winning so far. So far. Um. Although, has he garnered anybody? I mean, he's said this True. is this is my character, and this is why I'm the best Joker. I mean, that might be how they're doing this. It could be. Um, I mean, because still that is, that is what the original did too. Right. They're all maybe gonna just do the this is why my Joker is the best Joker. Right. Um, which is I mean fine with five people. It's fine. But I, I still got to give bonus points to the original Joker for at least covering the basis of everyone. Whereas I don't think he really necessarily mentioned anyone. Anyone. Um, but with that being said, he has some of the better bars. And I like the all it takes is a little push as far as how he ended it. Right. Because that, again, is referencing Har- Harvey. Right. Because sometimes all it takes is a little push to get somebody to realize. I like the line before it, though. Madness is like gravity. Right. Yeah. So. Um. So let's keep going. Leto's Joker. The fact that got Dan Bull to do Leto's Joker excites me. Uh. Yes. Because he's going to do he's... Leto's Joker some justice. Dan Bull. Yes. Uh. I'm. Yeah. I'm I liked excited. it. I like Dan Bull. He's one of my two favorite UK artists, period. Right. DK being the other one. That's right. Yo, messing with this Joker is just suicidal, so I'd advise. Get out of here, Leto. Nobody likes you. Which... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Suicide Squad and then cut off. You're cut off, man. That's too bad. Like, they better let him come back because I'll be upset if that's all Dan Bull gets to say. I mean, I like how they did that, but I'm going to be upset. <laughs> First off, I really like that he mentioned the whole suicidal thing because he yeah. was in Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. But Nim Raps chiming in. I don't know who Nim Raps is representing. Jack Napier. Jack Napier. Napier. I don't know. I don't know which one that is. I at all um, again i hope i hope he gets a fair shot at this though 
because I do like Leto's Joker, regardless of what you say, Nim Raps. Right. I do enjoy his Joker. I enjoyed him too. I mean, it just shows another of the facets of Joker's psyche. Men- yeah, and therefore. Yeah. All right. <laughs> This Joker is just suicidal, so I'd advise. Get out of here, Leto. Nobody Never likes you. It's Jack. Okay. Whoever right. just subbed, thank you. Um, Jack so it's Nicholson. Jack Nicholson's Joker. Got it. Okay. Joker is just suicidal, so I'd advise. Get out of here, Leto. Nobody likes you. It's Jack Napier. I'm the closest to the comics. This Joker's iconic. You're just colonic. Party in the streets of Gotham. Let's unite. Come and dance with the devil in the pale moonlight. I'm glad he used it. I knew it, it was going there. I knew it was going to go there. <laughs> yes. I'm glad he used it. One of the most iconic Joker lines ever. ever. Yeah. Um. I mean, actual lines versus why so serious and like right. cat, catchphrase lines. Right. Yeah. Um, all right, Nim. Now he's attacking people. Or at least he attacked Leto's Joker. Well, I mean, he told him to get out of there. But but once he started in with this is, he has gone back to what the previous two have done, right. which is I'm the best because I'm the closest to the comic. I'm iconic. He mentioned the most iconic line. We'll see. Right. I mean, it's still great. Don't get me wrong. It's just not a diss battle. It's a right. who's better battle. In the streets of Gotham, let's unite. Come and dance with the devil in the pale moonlight. Let's let bygones be bygones. Put her there, brother. Mm. Forget about the rap. I'll just roast you with a hand buzz. Can't believe these jokers battling me. When I'm done, the only thing left will be chattering teeth. Got the guns with... <laughs> He's mentioning all the ways that he goes about the hand buzzer. The right. <laughs> but he did go reference the other Jokers again. So yeah, when I'm done, there will just, just be chattering, chattering teeth. teeth. But now he's got the guns with the longest barrels. We'll see. We'll see. Jokers battling me. When I'm done, the only thing left will be chattering teeth. Got the guns with the longest barrels in the biz. You like my flower? <laughs> then come closer and take a whiff. You're insane. Really? I thought I was a Pisces. I'm an OG. <laughs> None of you can do it like me. Might be the killingest joke that I've told in a while. The battle's over. If you gotta go, then go with a smile. Killing his joke is in reference to the killing joke. Right. Which is a storyline in the comics that they eventually adapted to an animated movie. Animated movie was terrible. Mm, I've um, heard that. But one of I've the best it, overall but... stories, comic book-wise. I've also heard that. Um, which sucks, because I was also Mark Hamill's last time voicing the Joker. Um, they should have done a better job. Then. I feel. But then goes go about... with a smile. Okay. okay. I'm hoping Leto still gets a chance, though. Right. Like... This is good. That's going to make me mad. Still wasn't a diss. I mean, like, I, I really like all the references he did to Jack Nicholson's Joker. I, I really liked. I I will say the direct assault on Leto in terms of not letting Leto come in. Because he did go on to actually say something one line later about right. no one liking, or, or aside from not people not liking Jared Leto's Joker. He did say something about a colonic or something like that in reference to Jared Leto's Joker. Oh, he he is just right. Um, but then he did go on. Crap people, he's just crap. He did go on to say also the chattering teeth line was in reference to the other jokers because he said when he's done with the other jokers, they'll just be chattering teeth. Well, I mean, even the way that he's he's phrased his <clears throat> lines have been an attack. Even as he's saying like I'm the best, it's not just right. I'm the best because of this. It's I'm better than you. So it it is more aggressive in terms of like actually battling than mm-hmm. the other two were. Um, I do gotta say he's winning so far. He for me. is. Yeah. Everybody think they know me. Story done before. That's what everybody told me. But take a seat. I'm like going through the motions. In movies, some people saying DC was broken. Cause you clowns are a tragedy. I took. Mm. Now, he is attacking the other ones. Mm-hmm. He's saying that everyone else has caused people to say that DC is broken. Mm-hmm. But I will say it, the only person they've said that about is Leto. Mm. And Phoenix. The reason I say that is because 
the original Joker, well, the animated Joker, first off, is in his own little world. Right. That's the animated series that has nothing to do with DC. Right. Nothing. Um, I've never heard people say DC as a whole is broken. Just their attempt at a DC movie universe. Right. Okay. Um, but immediately you got to take out Jack Nicholson's Joker and you have to take out the animated, like you said. Um, well, yeah. And, but you also have to take out, uh, Christian Bale, the, yeah. Dark Knight, Dark Knight Joker. And then you have to take out, um, I mean, then you got to take out Joaquin Phoenix too. Because that's not a part of the DC universe. They did this on their own their little, own little mm-hmm. thing. Um, as a matter of fact, my complaint with this Joker is he's so far removed from the comics. In terms of the comics have never really truly gone into a true backstory for the Joker. Okay. Um, they've done that on purpose because of how mysterious Joker's yeah, supposed to be. Nobody knows. Start his... off as John Doe. Right. Nobody knows what his name is. Yeah. But all of a sudden. Now he's got a movie based on his history, and it's kind of like, this isn't a Joker right. like anyone else's. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's interesting to see where they go with this. His voice is nice. Right. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Movies and people saying DC was broken, cause you clowns are a tragedy. I took the name to new heights, like the thank the academy. Respect to heat, but I ain't supporting anything. Front and center stage, just the way you can take a seat. Heath Ledger won Best Supporting Actor for okay, that movie I was wondering after he'd passed away. What the supporting... Okay. That's why I said no disrespect to No, I, I knew who... I'm not supporting anything. It's like, I'm, I'm up there winning for Best Actor. Right. Well, and isn't this the film that they said was based around the tragedy of his past? And... Of Joker's? I think so. Again, it's supposed to be his origin story. Okay, but he just said that you, you clowns are a tragedy. Right. So... <laughs> But I ain't supporting anything Front and center stage Just the way you can take a seat This time no more suicide Forever heard the last guy cry Cause I came and did it better No more medicine Everything is <laughs> Another shot at Jared Leto Yeah uh, Again I, I No more suicide forever I'm actually bummed That Jared Leto might not ever take up that role again Cause I still don't think he was given a fair shot Right Forever heard the last guy cry Cause I came and did it better Normal medicine, everything is in focus Before you catch your best seat I keep taking over the showbiz yeah. The king of comedy is spoken And everybody started noticing. So I'll sing it loud You've had your fun But who's laughing now? Another reference yeah. to A line in the movie Who's laughing now? I'm kind of sad. Who do you think won? I third guy, which was. Third guy was Nim Raps. I'm not counting Dan Ball. No, wait. Is uh, it the still third make or? Nim Raps the third guy? Because the first guy was animated. Yeah, it was Mark Hamill and then Heath. Heath Ledger. And then. And then. Christian, or I mean. Jared Leto came in for all of one bar. Right. And he got put out by Nim Raps. Who was and then Jacqueline Phoenix. Yeah, I guess Nim Raps. 
Jalen Rose. Mm-hmm. I'm giving the win to Jared Leto because just like the fucking <laughs> fans who wouldn't give the dude a chance, he wasn't giving these a guys chance. didn't give him a chance. <laughs> Plus, you robbed Dan Bull of a good possible. 14 to 16 bars that could have been fucking amazing. Fabulous. Um, no, actually, I'm giving my win, to, honestly, to um, Nimraps as well. I feel like he did the best at attacking the others that's, uh, that's as a whole. what I was giving it um, to him for. Is it, I do the think bars the, were the actually... Joaquin Phoenix one was a close second because he also attacked them. Mm-hmm. I just think it was as creative. Right. Um, plus, it was hard for me to understand a lot of the bars coming from his because I still haven't seen that movie because I refuse to watch that movie. Mm. until I have a chance to watch the movie, then I'll probably watch it. Right. But I didn't go to theaters like I normally would anything else. I went to theaters <laughs> for Suicide Squad. Figure that one out. Right. Um, but I no, I do wish... I haven't seen one yet either. I have seen up through Suicide Squad, though. I do wish they'd have given Dan Bull... A chance. A chance and some time with the character yeah. to really flesh it out, because I think it could have been really fucking cool. Right. Because I... Th- it's not just because I liked Jared Leto's representation. Which I didn't mind. Like I said, it was a, another facet of Leto. Yeah, whatever. Who's Leto? Did you know what? I know Leto. <laughs> Make fun of my pronunciation all you want. <laughs> That's fine. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Good job. Yeah. You did it to me earlier. It's okay. We do it yeah, to each other quite that... often. <laughs> um. <laughs> here's, here's, here's my problem and this is going to be my defense of Jared Leto's Joker a lot of people complained about his laugh first and foremost he has my favorite laugh out of all of them because it is the most grating laugh right. out of all of them Joker's not supposed to be easy on the ears and easy on the eyes he's a villain and if when he la- if somebody laughs and it kind of makes you cringe, cringe you've done a good fucking yeah. job yeah. Um, also I love the ghetto depiction of it right um a lot of people that's why they hated it because you had he was kind of pimp-esque taking the anime series out of it you had um jack nicholson's joker that was very mobster mentality like Mm -hmm. and then you had jared not jared leto um heath ledger's joker Mm -hmm. that was just insane insane um which don't get me wrong he is actually my favorite all-around live action portrayal yeah. of the Joker. Um, but then you had Jared Leto's, which was very ghetto gangster. Mm-hmm. Like ghetto gangster. Um, and then you had, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't even know where to put Joaquin Phoenix's because he, again, I never watched the actual movie. Right. So I don't know. He's taking more of Tragic. the woe is me yeah. attitude, I'm guessing, <clears throat> um, which is not a good thing for me in terms of villainy. I, I'm not a big fan of those a, types of villains. Yeah. It's the um, same reason I don't like Sephiroth as a villain, because Sephiroth is like, oh, I've been done wrong, so I'm now going to turn on everyone. Like Vengeance type of thing. I, I prefer more psychotic. But with that being said, though, like, again, going back to Jared Leto's Joker, though, I still love the, the very ghetto personality he came with. Like, there was that one dude that was, like, ogling Harley, mm-hmm. and he just popped the dude in the fucking head, pulled out his gun, pulled the fucking trigger. Yep. And didn't bat an eye. It was a good mix of both the Heath Ledger in terms of just being absolutely insane. Right. And that mobster of Jack Nicholson. But yeah, it was it was more he was more kind of like a pimp in his dress and, and style and yeah, he was a bit more I don't know. Not as suave as the mobster mentality. Right. But I enjoyed it because he's supposed to be batshit. Right. And then also, the other big complaint Leto got was his look. They didn't like the gold teeth and the tattoos on the face. And and don't get me wrong, I can fully understand that. Mm -hmm. It didn't bother me, but I can fully understand why people wouldn't like that. But at the same time... If you look at the more ghetto gangster type people nowadays that are in the forefront and in the spotlight in terms of movies and stuff, mm-hmm. they are the face tats, the grills, grills, and it was for a more modern day Joker. Bright colors. So it didn't bother me that he had them. Well, and then you've got Harlequin. Right. I mean, she's got 
the face tats, the daddy's little girl tats. She's, you know, wearing the choker and right. the booty shorts. People had problems with her, too. Yeah, I, I mean, didn't. but it, they were a pair, and that's, they're supposed to be that right. crazy, insane pair. Um, And honestly, my biggest complaint, 100% with Suicide Squad, is I didn't feel like they gave Joker enough screen time. They really which, didn't. I was surprised again, at how little he was in there, actually, the first time I saw it. Well, right. And then again, I, I mean, it's I understand why they kind of needed to, because it wasn't based on the Suicide Squad. Joker's not in the Suicide right. Squad. Um, but I feel like because he was in there so little, and they didn't focus enough on him to really fully develop him out, it made people dislike him even more. They um, didn't see where Jared was going with and, it. Because... Exactly. And he'll probably never get that chance to reprise that specific role, especially now that Batfleck has pulled out. And is now being replaced by a sparkling fucking vampire. We um, had a problem with Jared. <clears throat> <laughs> Glad she said it. Yeah, I, I agree with her though. <laughs> um, but we're getting a sparkling fucking vampire. I'm sure he's a good actor. I, everybody has told me he's a good. I, you know, <clears throat> I will never get the picture of him as a sparkling. Vampire. Vampire. Who is it? You know. <laughs> Honestly, they just need to bring back Christian Bale. They really do. He has, in my opinion, been the best all-around character for Batman. Batman. Yeah. Even though I hate his Batman voice. If you would stop with that. <laughs> but he was a great... Why are you trying to kill me? But he was a great moody, uh, almost like a anti-hero. Like, just, you know. And, and just for proof that I can look past people's past in terms of being a new character i did have a problem with christian bell's batman at first because i knew him from american psycho mm -hmm. so you're now telling me to look at old psychotic christian bell who's gone on a murdering spree throughout town hacking people up and now i gotta believe he's batman so i can look past things and eventually well, warm up to but new I mean, things but you but you Pattinson? liked american psycho right huh you liked him i maybe. did so but Batman's not, like, an all-around good guy. No, he's a vigilante. Yeah. For justice. So, I mean, murderous past actually kind of somewhat makes sense. He had to be trained. True. And he wasn't exactly <laughs> that good under, you know, laws. So, right. there is that. Um, I still remember him in Newsies, though, so... But yeah, I guess we are in agreement that Nim. Jack Nicholson Joker, a.k.a. Nim Raps, won this battle. Dan Bull, I really would have given it to you had they at least given you a chance, I'm sure. Well, I, I definitely wanted to hear Dan Bull rap. Yes. But yeah, um, I liked Nim's scheme the best, but also it was mostly because he was aggressive towards the other characters and directed his comments at them versus the other guys who who were more of a I'm I'm the greatest Batman because not right. I'll do Joker. this to you. Yeah, whatever. We were just talking about Kristen Bale. <laughs> we can't go from one top. Yes, we can. Never mind. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, this is we had went into a longer conversation than I planned on us doing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end that here. If you guys like the video, be sure to slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below, what did you think of the Joker rap battle by Nerd Out featuring Dan Bull video game rap battles? Uh, we're just going to say Dan. It wasn't even Dan Bull. It was just Dan. That's how short of a verse he got. Um, so Nerd Out featuring Dan video game rap battles. Are good. Yes, game. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to go with Bull because it was bullshit he didn't get an extra verse. <laughs> so Nerd Out featuring Bull. Video game rap battles and dreaded Yasuke. And it was two members of uh, Nim Nerd Raps Out. And it was Nim Raps and I, I don't remember the other guy's name yeah. right offhand. Um, but yes, also check the description below for the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, bitch, as well as the original link to this video. You also find links to the bar, Discord, as well as our YouTube page. Um, and hey, that is going to do it, guys. We love y'all. Thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to see you to pray people later. Peace. This will be a 35 minute fucking reaction. <laughs> called it get off my screen <laughs>